On this episode of System Integrators Weekly, they're content creators and system integrators. But just how legit are they? All that and more on this episode of System Integrators Weekly. Let's go, nerds! Hello, everyone. I am Brea Thorne. Welcome to SI Weekly. And look... Do you know how many times people have suggested to me since I pretty much exclusively review system integrators and the systems that they build? Hey, why don't you start an SI company of your own? More times than I can count. It's something that I know may makes sense for you guys. Like, hey, if he if he's given this advice and whatnot, why doesn't he put his money where his mouth is and start up a company? It is way too much work. No, thank you. It's hard enough being a content creator with chronic fatigue syndrome I didn't add running a whole SI company on top of that. No, thank you. Some folks have decided that they are going to go down that path. The reason that I thought of this was because in the last episode of SI Weekly, I covered Stints Built and Stints himself and, you know, his whole thing about being a content creator and having a system integrator company. So uh, this made me think of some of the other channels that I watch that uh, they do the same thing. So why don't we check them out? I'm pretty sure these guys have it nailed down and I'm going to have to like go through their offerings and websites with like a fine tooth comb to find anything that I would that that's, you know, noteworthy of saying, hey, maybe you don't do it this way, do it the other way, whatever. Uh, but still, that can be a little a uh, little awkward. Well, let me share this cool news to sort of give you give you some insight as to why it's high stakes for me. This is the creator page. For LTX 2023, tons of awesome creators are going to be here. And uh, look right there in the third row. Who is that handsome fella? That's, uh, well, that's no, that, that, that's Brandon. That's Brandon Lee. No, 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 that one's Barnacules Nergasm. That one's Bad Seed Tech. Also bearded, also bald. I can see where maybe you made. Okay, that's Andy and Abby the Lap. That's just a dog. No, it's 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 me. I'm the guy right there. I'm going. I'm going to, uh, to LTX. I'm on the list, baby. <laughs> Moving straight to the top. Uh, but you know who else is going? Two. Two of the channels slash SIs that I'm going to be covering in this episode are going to be there and I'm going to meet them for the first time. And I watched, I watched some of their stuff. Brett's going to be there, which is super awesome. Got to meet him at TwitchCon. And Dr. Ian Cutris. Also, Nerd on a Budget. Ozzy, going to see you there. Pedro, going to see you there. Can't wait to meet Paul. I mean, this is going to be Lewis Rossman. Come on. Christopher Yee. Jay. Jay's two cents. I get to complain to Jay about how you how I've been called a bald AliExpress Jay's two cents. Uh, Greg's going to be there. Met him at CES. Epos Vox. The Poets. Got to meet him. David's going to be there. Awesome dude. Uh, Der Bauer's going to be there. LTT is going to be there. All right, that's enough. Even PC World is going to be there broadcasting live. And they asked me to join them. Like, it's look at this tweet. It's in the tweet. So that's who we're going to be looking at. We're going to be looking at Gamer Tech Toronto, Zach's Tech Turf, and the Toasty Bros. So stay with me. But first, this video is sponsored by VIP CDK Deals. The best place to go when you want to get yourself an OEM Windows license to get rid of that annoying watermark and unlock all the customization Windows has to offer. So instead of paying well over $100 for a retail version of Windows, you can get an OEM key for a fraction of the price. Plus, you can use my code BRAY25 to get a nice fat discount off of the already discounted price. Keep in mind that this is an OEM key that gets attached to this system. It cannot be used with another one or if you change your hardware. Make sure you get the right key for your operating system. For more information on how to use CDK deals, click the link in the description saying here's how it works and I'll walk you through the whole thing. Thank you, CDK deals. For continuing to support the channel. Now, before we get into this, a couple of disclaimers, and these are kind of especially important on this one, okay? First off, this video is being recorded for July 3rd, 2023. Any pricing and availability that you see in this video, if you're watching it a week, a month, a year later, <laughs> will have changed. If you see something you like in this video and it's, at a, it's not available or it's overpriced or whatever, you can find similar stuff. I've got a ton of videos covering SIs. This is a series. It's not always weekly lately, but Hey, and I am traveling up to Vancouver at the end of the month. So, I mean, hey, that's another episode we're going to miss. But whatever. We'll do what we can. Next one is the one that's especially important here. Um, I have mad respect for these guys. 
they are much larger than me in content creation. They put out videos more frequently than I do. In some cases, far more frequently than I do. And I know how much work that is. And um, they're also selling PCs. Like that's a, a whole level that I can't even consider. So I do want to make this clear. That has zero bearing on whatever opinions I'm going to be sharing here, but you must remember that they are opinions. Mad respect for you guys. All the work you've put into this to get in where you are. Very cool to see. Now, the last one is, of course, if you purchase anything, you are purchasing at your own risk. Any of the videos I make do not constitute financial advice. You are the master of your own destiny. I'm here to provide you with uh, hopefully helpful information so you can make an informed decision. Now, we're going to start this one off with our buds up there in Toronto, eh? Hmm. What stereotype do we add to this? Uh, no. Oh, that could be promising. Nah, I don't think that's real. Uh, that's Gamer Tech Toronto. Guys, happy belated Canada Day if you end up watching this because uh, yesterday was Canada Day. And uh, Cuddles, my editor, who's up there, pretty close to you guys, I imagine. He's uh, making a brisket. Go bug him for some brisket, all right? Uh, so these guys, I, I've i actually started getting into watching YouTube shorts. And that means, yes, I'm probably going to start making some YouTube shorts. But these guys are very, very comfortable with that short form content. And I'm pretty sure that that's how they got to this number of 284,000 subscribers with 621 videos. It's, it's the Canadian accent, you know? It just gets you. You're like, this guy must be nice. Oh, sorry. Sorry. So sorry. Sorry. But it's also cool to see another Canadian SI because uh, I've covered Quoted Tech before. I covered Extreme PC Canada. That didn't go too well. You're already paying for it. They won't tell you what they mean, but they will take your money. That is straight up underhanded. And you need to stop this yesterday. It is not okay to straight up take money for cons from consumers in an option that is buried in a dropdown that people will straight up overlook because it's not hardware and then not even describe what it is. Are you crazy? Nobody else. Nobody else does this. Nobody else does this but you. It's really gross. Right now, done with y'all. And, and whatever explanation you have for it, I don't want to hear it if this is still on the site. But we're going to take a look at what they have. So let's jump into that right now. It says website. We're going to click on that. And there you go. This looks like a system integrator's website. OK, just at a glance, I'm seeing things like, you know, height Y40. I'm seeing a custom liquid cooled system, lots of airflow, lots of airflow focused cases. So that's good to see. But remember this about smaller system integrators. They're sending out lower quantities of systems, meaning that in order to cover the overhead of having a PC uh, building company, you have to have profits. You got to have it. No getting around that. I do like that they put people on the site. I like to see that because you guys must remember that no matter what, no matter what SI you're looking at, it's not just a brand name and a logo and a bunch of computers you can buy from the internet. There's people there, people working on this stuff. And uh, I think that gets, you know, sort of lost in translation sometimes. Uh, let's take a look at what we have here for our options. Cause like generally this will give you an idea of what you can expect this sort of uh, shortcut thing here. So build your own, fully built, ready to go PCs. So that's your ready to ship systems. Warranty, front and center, very top. Love to see that. PC repairs are offered, custom loops and case mods, giveaways, memberships, PC trade in about us and contact us. Let's take a look at build your own. Each PC comes with, no, so it's not DIY. This is going to be a, con is this a configurator? Wait, so budget Intel is $2,035. High-end Intel is less than $100 more. Okay, that's... What? <laughs> what? What happened? I'm, yeah, I'm still wearing the, the Toronto hat. By the way, Cuddles gave me this. Thanks, Cuds. So let's see what comes up if you go to budget. Let's see what's in there. Okay, note here, if you're if it's going to be your budget configurator, you got to have some budget cases. Uh, mostly. I would expect mostly budget cases. Choose your CPU processor. 12600K, 12700K, 12900K. Okay, let's have a talk. We're going to talk about that letter K. 
you don't have to have it. It doesn't have to be there. You can go for the other i5s, even the i3, if you're saying it's budget. I'm, I'm, I get the feeling this is gonna be a thing. What labels are put on what things? Because labels, headers, whatever you wanna call them, the title of a thing that you're gonna click on, that is what funnels your consumer to the right purchase. That's what helps you qualify your customer. Yeah, there should be like a 13500, 13400, or maybe maybe even all the way down to like a 13100 is okay, 12100 is about the same, and it's cheaper. You do the contact frame, that's good. Good to see that. Choose a cooler. I guess 12600K is what we're doing, and that's fine for that. Okay, so the base price of $2,000 was with a 3050. No $2,000 system should come with a 3050. All I've been looking at is this number, but over here, it says this system would be 2,644 US dollars, not even Canadian dollars. So this is real money. Would you, Gamertech Toronto, I'm talking to you guys, would you purchase or recommend to your friends or family members that they purchase this PC, a $2,600 PC with the default spec at that price? That's a bad deal. That's not a good deal. Doing this thing where it's like, well, no, but it's $2,035. That's still a bad price. And this is just the thing that, that that you'll see where it's like, oh, well, mark it up to whatever and then take an amount off. This is the actual price we want to sell it for. Let's back up and go to the budget AMD. I think we're going to see something better here, even though it's probably going to be socket AM4 processor. It's all going to be 5,000 series Ryzen on this one. And then if you go to the high-end one, it's going to be 7,000 series Ryzen. But I mean, this price is a lot, a lot more reasonable. 3050, 6650 XT. Okay, go 6650 XT uh, between the two, unless you want to stream. If you want to stream, you want that sweet, sweet Turing-based NVENC encoder, you go with the 3050. Motherboards are two options. Okay. At least they're not, it's not just like you have a basic one, you have a nicer one. Uh, this is the budget option again. Now, something I know about Ryzen, it's very particular about RAM frequencies. So you want to get the best performance out of it. You want to go with this kit here that is, oh, no RAM frequencies listed. Um, I mean, a lot of sites don't list the cast latency, but no RAM frequencies at all. So generally you want for 5000 series Ryzen processors, 3600 mega transfers per second. That's the sweet spot. We don't know if any of this meets that requirement. So, so going from a 500 gig M.2 drive up to a one terabyte. So you lose the 500 gig, you're swapping it out for one terabyte. If that's a gen three drive, I don't think it should be 90 bucks because you're also losing the, the value. So you're looking at like $120, 120, 100, $130 for a Gen 3, ostensibly looking at the pictures here, a Gen 3 one terabyte M.2 drive. Markups are okay, but that's like a 50% markup, guys. The 50 to 70% markup. Hang on a second, let's check something real quick. We're gonna go to the 4070 Ti. Okay, it's not warning me that that's not enough. You want to meet at least the minimum recommended wattage for a power supply as recommended by NVIDIA. 600 watts does not do it for 4070 Ti. Uh, so basically what I'm seeing here is a lack of a compatibility filter. Windows 11, not recommended. Not recommended. I mean, I guess we're in AMD. Is that the same case in, in an Intel build? Windows 11 Pro free, not recommended. You're talking about the hybrid architecture of 12th and 13th gen processors, Intel processors like, you can end up leaving some performance on the table in Windows 10. So you might want to expand on this, maybe explain what you mean. So you can do headsets, monitors, keyboards, mouse. Okay, cool, cool. Let's look at the fully built and ready to go systems. All right, I'm not a fan of the configurators. I'm, I'm really not. It's just, I imagine maybe if you go mid or high end, it's a little bit better. Let's just take a quick look at that 13600K. And what is the GPU for this also? Well, this $2,100 system, what's the default GPU? It's a 3050. Really quick, I'm gonna take a peek at the warranty. Uh, why our three-year warranty is the best? That's not a question, that's a statement. At Gamertech, we take pride in offering the best warranty policy in the industry. Our three-year warranty is designed to provide you with peace of mind and exceptional customer service. 
Here's why our warranty stands out. Free included. We'll never try to upsell you on warranty. Free cleanings. Every time, every time your PC gets dusty, bring it in and they'll clean it for you for free. I'm in Texas. That's a bit of a commute. I'll get some canned air. But for people in Toronto or in that part of Canada, that's pretty cool. Okay, okay. This is the kind of policy that starts with when you're a local PC shop. Free PC updates. Is your PC feeling old or slow? Don't worry, bring it to us and we'll provide free updates to enhance its speed and efficiency. Again, very cool. I like the, I like the vibes from that. That's nice. By the way, these guys do free international shipping. Unlimited free labor on any PC upgrades. Instead of buying a new PC, we offer unlimited free labor for any PC upgrades covered by our warranty. You'll need to cover the cost of the components while we take care of the installation and labor and the shipping. Got to ship it over there. Uh, virtual diagnostics. We understand not everyone can visit our physical store. Thank you. Therefore, we provide the option of booking a free appointment with a technician for virtual diagnostics. We'll assist you remotely to identify and resolve any PC issues you may be experiencing. Cool. What our warranty doesn't cover? Physical damages. Unfortunately, our warranty does not cover any physical damages to your PC. We recommend taking proper precautions to protect your device from accidental damage. Uh, parts. Your PC has the option to come with empty PC boxes. These parts and boxes all contain manufacturer's warranty. If you keep your boxes and your parts having an issue, we will speak with the manufacturers to get you a replacement as long as the part is still under warranty. So as a system integrator, you're selling a system. The warranty, you are the holder of those parts warranties. It's you guys. Uh, shipping, we regretfully cannot cover the costs associated with shipping or any damages that may occur during transit. Customers are responsible for shipping expenses and are advised to add insurance to protect against any shipping related issues or damages. You have free international shipping. Does that include shipping insurance? Because if you're recommending it, you better be doing it. So three years is quite good, uh, but it's labor. They're basically saying uh, the parts will help you get it started, but you're on your own. We're gonna send you the PC boxes, I mean, the parts boxes. I guess we'll soldier on, see what kind of deals we can find in the uh, fully built and ready to go PCs. 1200F, 3050. You guys do know about the 1200, clearly. It's right there. It should be in your budget configurator. I don't know why it's not. Let's go to higher end systems real quick, take a peek. 13600KF, 4070Ti, 3,132 US dollars. 13900K, 4090, 5220. Gamertech, I'm sure there's something I'm missing here. I hope it's not the fact that you're getting a lot of views that's like inflating your prices because so these prices are, are, are not, they're not great, but you're looking to do free shipping internationally, meaning you're competing on a broader scale, likely because of the reach you now have because of having nearly 300,000 subscribers on YouTube. That's gonna generate interest. You need to make sure you're not taking advantage of these people. Like any pride you have in your customer service, that's out the window if you took advantage of them at the onset. What is this? Hold up. All right. You guys want to talk about an unfortunate truth? Unfort POV, you spent 3K on a PC and you got an i5 and 4070Ti. There, unfortunate truth for you. <laughs> you guys are gonna be fine. You're fine, you're Canadian, you'll be nice. You can handle a little bit of constructive criticism. Okay, let, let's talk about Zach's tech turf, okay? Zach, um, I like Zach's content. He's very straightforward, he's a straight shooter. He'll, he'll straight up tell you exactly how he feels about something, what he thinks about something, hot takes, but seems genuine to me. He is also very hyper-focused on sub $1,000. That seems to be his audience, and that audience is big. It's we're talking about like 260,000 YouTube subscribers. Plus, he does builds on Twitch as well. So yeah, a lot going on here. But on the other side of that though, also a system integrator. But yeah, look at this. Uh, anyway, $400, $500 build, $100 GPU, $700. Yeah, it's all way down there. So let's check out though, he, he is also in a way an SI. So let's check it out. Got a link right up here. So, okay, we have, uh, looks like four options here. It says always available. So let's get this started. Let's take a look at the Icebreaker V2. Okay, 799, 12100F and RX 6600. That's a potent combination right there for 1080p gaming. Nice, deep, cool CH370 case here. Uh, I do like that one. I've never heard of Glowway as a RAM brand, as a memory brand, but 
Okay. Not the H610. No. Zach. Oh. Well, that explains the 799. <laughs> A little bit. H610 is the absolute scraping the bottom of the barrel. Hey, grandma, here's a PC to read your emails. Hey, Charlie, here's your new PC for doing spreadsheets. That's what that motherboard is for. It is not for a high performance gaming PC. I mean, for a budget one, still no, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like that choice. One M.2 socket here, one. With that in mind, what storage do you put in this? Please, please tell me it's not a 510, uh, 500 or a 512. That's 512. Okay. I'm looking here at your benchmarks. You're recommending showing benchmarks for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Apex Legends and Fortnite. Not too bad. Uh, let's look those up and do a little bit of math. Okay, with Call of Duty Modern Warfare, you're looking at about 151.4 gigs. That's on October 27, 2022. That's very likely more now. Uh, Apex Legends, about 52.9. That was in July 12th of 2022. It's likely a little bit more now. And Fortnite is around, well, this is about 18. But people are saying, you know, 26 to 26 right here, 30 here. So we'll say about 28, split the difference, 26, 28. Either way, you're coming out to about 230 gigs of storage with three games. Most of it is Modern Warfare 2. 500 is just not, en not enough anymore. It's not, it's not enough. My recommendation here is to do a minimum one terabyte for any system. But like this right here, you're building in a bottleneck. You're building in a problem right there. It is designed into the system that there's a problem. Not right now, down the road and not very far down the road. Uh, look at another one. Let's look at the next step up. See what kind of differences you get. $925 Ryzen 5 5600 and the 6650 XT. RX 6650 XT from Radeon, AMD Radeon. Uh, okay, so we have an ASRock B450M, which is compatible with the Ryzen 5 5600. Okay, more of that Glowway RAM, which is great for a white system, it seems. It looks pretty nice. Uh, Asus Tough, 450 watts. Did we go down in power? At least you get a one terabyte. Take the money from these white cables, put it into a better power supply. Why did it go backwards? Why is it regressing? All right, all right. Hey, look, what if you did like a drop down thing just for like a couple of, a couple of options? Extra RAM or maybe adequate power supply. I know this is not the most demanding, like it's not even 5600 X. Like that's gonna be this more efficient. 6650 XT is not a power hungry monster, but there's like no room to grow here. Death Strike V2. Ryzen 5 5600 and then 6700 XT, an incremental upgrade on the GPU here. Um, uh, Cooler Master, Master Watt 550. XFX RX 6700 6, XT. Ryzen 5 5600, it's the same CPU, A520M. At least you're going with the 3600 mega transfers per second memory, which I don't think you did here. Um, because that's the sweet spot for Ryzen 5000 series and 3000. Like this is this is just a great jumping in point price for someone who wants to do 1440p gaming. It's 32 gigs of RAM too. With nice G-Skill Rip Jaws 5, that stuff is super solid. All right, let's look at the top end one. The top end, king of the mountain right here. All right, what do we got? 13400F, RTX 3070 for 1499. 13400 is pretty rad. Uh, okay, DDR4 3200, B760M. Okay, all right. DS3H, uh, DDR4, Asus Tough 850, 850. There you go. One terabyte crucial P3. Yeah, this is a nice system right here. I don't see anything wrong with this one. I mean, you could, look, you can shuffle parts around all day and say, well, I could build it for cheaper than, of course you can, shut up. This is a pre-built. It is for people who want to buy pre-builts. If you don't want to do that, don't come bother us about it. We're just trying to help people here. Look at this. Look at this right here. Look at this right here, Zach, buddy. Convenience. This I say this all the time, not with these words. 
Building a gaming PC is a hobby of its own. If you are more interested in jumping into high quality gaming action right away, a pre-built is a great route to take. I say this all the time, that outmoded way of thinking, like, oh, you telling people like that, that don't care what you think or don't know you or whatever, like, hey, you didn't build your own PC. You're not a real gamer. It's two separate hobbies. You, I build all my own PCs. I can bake you a cookie right now and then give you a cookie. 70 to 75%, give or take, year to year of people who buy PC hardware by pre-built. And the moment they get any content directed to them, people get all up in arms who have the hobby of building PCs saying, no, you can't do that. You have to build it yourself or you suck. No, go away. They need content. They need help. 90% of all PC centric YouTube stuff is DIY. Go play over there. I love DIY. That's where I come from. And I am trying to take that knowledge. And instead of being spiteful and ignorant, I'm trying to be like, no, you want to pre-built? That's cool. Welcome to PC gaming. It's an awesome hobby. And by the way, I started with the pre-built too. And it was my gateway into DIY. In fact, those people who are out there complaining about people who buy pre-builts and saying you should build your own computer. Statistically speaking, most of them started with the pre-built and they're pretending that's not the case. And they basically sprung forth fully formed when they were born, building PCs every day. You probably started with a pre-built like most DIY people did. Where along the line did you ever forget that and decide that that's not okay for everybody else? Get over yourself. Whoa, where am I? Jesus Christ. That was, that got, that was a lot of, that was pent up. Ooh, that was bottled up for a while, man. Here's the thing. I can argue all the little details and nitpick all day long, but the point here is that this is nice and simple. If you want this person to build you a PC or his team to build you a PC, you can do that. And I, I just, warranty policy is right there. So let's take a look at that. All game PC builds are shipped with full insurance to cover the cost of the build if there's any damage during transit. Gamer Tech Toronto, pay attention. Uh, damage done during transit, we will need your cooperation so we can file a claim, and yes. Instead of just saying like, hey, if it's damaged after it leaves our doors, you're on your own, bud. Hey, We offer three-day working condition warranty. Okay, that allows your insured PC is in full working condition after transit. If you have any issues during this time or like a refund, please contact us immediately. If you request a refund for a reason other than the product being damaged or not in working order, you'll be required to pay an extra shipping and restocking fee. Okay, three-day window starts on the date the PC was delivered. Okay. There's no warranty, like a one year parts and labor. You can do this. You'll get a, a pretty good deal with, for the price, but there is no warranty here. If that's something that you, there's a three day working condition warranty after three days, good luck. Yeah, that's a tough one for me. I don't know if I can, if that doesn't matter to you, if you're good, then go for it. But uh, that, that is a tough one. Uh, but yeah, other than that, it's four solid builds. It's not a huge lineup. It's not a full configurator. None of that stuff. It's just this is what you can get. These four options, you can get them anytime. Now the consulting though. Let's check out the consulting. And okay, stop. Before you spend all that money on PC components, let me help. Uh, is your power supply high enough on the PSU tier list for your build? Zach, do you know how many times I've seen an SI mention the PSU tier list? Um, in like nearly 90 episodes of this show now once <laughs> nice will that CPU cooler actually fit inside the case will there be a CPU or GPU bottleneck is this gaming PC good for the money I'll add one for you the most important question I usually ask what are you going to use it for because that can very much affect how you prioritize the different components it can affect the configuration all of that but I'm sure you have a different it's part of the package that they get a questionnaire or something, I imagine. So you can have Zach do the whole thing. You pay for the parts and shipping after it's been sort of custom tailored parts lists, order and assembling the PC, stress test, configuring, benchmarking, verify stability, and then, oh, you actually get a video. You get a short for your PC. High quality photos to share with your friends. This is the whole experience for 500 bucks. Okay, this is the really time consuming one for, uh, I've done things like this before. It's a lot more time consuming when it's like not the person buying it, talking to you, but it's like a kid that wants it and the parents are trying to figure that out and you have to sort of walk them through it. If you're in that situation, 
for basically a hundred bucks, you can have someone spend, looks like an unlimited amount of time walking you through that. Please don't take like three days to do it. But still about an hour of time from someone who has 260,000 YouTube subscribers. That's a lot of, it's a lot of time. And then here we have PC upgrade plan. We can figure that one out. 35 bucks, send your specs, all that. Uh, and they'll figure out an upgrade for you and a component list design. So they figure out a whole build for you, 50 bucks. Good deals. Toasty Bros, Jack and Matt. Toasty Bros have been at it for a while. They're also very much bu budget focused. Um, they do cover some pre-builds. Uh, they do a lot of DIY stuff. They look at cr like super budget stuff as well. Like this one is a $500 PC with an i9. Don't mention the gen or anything. Don't mention the, the Intel generation. Heck, they're getting rid of those anyway. Uh, $300 gaming PC, 2023. There's a lot of YouTube search terms here. I feel you guys, that's how you're getting them views. Now, what we need to do though, they're a system integrator, so we gotta check them out. Let's see what they got. All gaming PCs. So this, I guess, is probably professional streamer. $1,400 for a professional streaming PC. We gotta see this. Professional streamer, you do it for a living, you're a full-time professional streamer. This is for you. What do we got? Nope. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. If you're going to put a label on something, it has to be accurate. It's got to be, man. You can't call a chicken sandwich a burger. Although a burger is kind of a sandwich. Don't... You know what? Yes. Debate this in the comments. Is a burger a sandwich? So if you're going to call this a professional streamer PC, someone who is like, I want to be like a professional streamer or like, you know what? I'm, I'm really putting myself into this. I need a professional streaming PC. They're going to be like 1400 bucks. I thought I was going to spend like $3,500 or something, which is probably what they would legitimately expect to spend. But right off the bat, you're going to give them six cores and a Radeon 6000 series GPU. 6700 XT is an amazing gaming GPU. Gaming, gaming GPU. 6000 series Radeon cards did not have much in the way of encoding. Like there was no, no major improvements in AMD Radeon's encoder, encoders until 7000 series Radeon GPUs like we have now that have AV1 encode and decode. But before that, if you wanted to stream, you pretty much needed to go with Nvidia to use a Turing-based NVENC encoder. The difference in bandwidth necessary to get a quality stream out is so drastic, and the quality is very good. Now, the other side of this, only six cores, 12 threads. Uh, streaming, if someone wants to have a, compl a complex stream and they're running Discord, they're running, you know, they're running OBS, of course, they're running the game, they're running, you know, any number of things all at once. Having extra cores is nice. Nice thing here is that you get DDR5 by default. AMD B650M or equivalent. If a PC is meant for a streamer, streamers need to connect USB things and lots of them. You you know, audio interfaces or USB microphones, headsets, you got you know, you have control surfaces, mouse and keyboard. It grows if you get really serious about it. It grows and it grows. Like say, when I say serious, professional, that's serious, right? I don't know what motherboard this is, but it being a B650M brings forth two issues. First off, being an, a micro ATX motherboard means you have fewer expansion slots. Now, what is something that a streamer, a professional streamer might wanna put in a, an expansion slot, PCI expansion slot? Capture card. Well, there aren't as many expansion slots in this. So it's a good thing that I have this USB capture card. Oh wait, I'm out of USB ports because this motherboard is cheap and not meant for a professional streaming machine. This power supply is 750 watts. Okay. So the GPU, nah, any more cores. Now I don't have a problem with this system. This system is fine. This is a good system. Montec Air 100, ARGB with four ARGB fans, Vetri v V240. Okay, one terabyte drive. Thank you for that. It's this, this right here. That is not a professional streamer PC, guys. Okay, I just I just need to see the whole list. Premium streamer PC. Put RX6, no, no, they're not good for streaming. 
they're really bad for it actually. There you go. RTX 3050. There you go. That thing's got the same encoder as a 3090 Ti. Turing and bank encoding is not the best anymore, but it's very solid and better than anything AMD had in 6000 series and beyond and before that. Budget streamer. GTX 1650. Y'all were close. You're so close. 1660 Super has the same Turing based NVENC encoder as a 30 up to a 3090 Ti. It, this has the previous gen NVENC. It's not as good. It's still there. Not as good. Now it's 700 bucks. All right. I get that. But at this point, there's not a huge price difference between the 1650 and the 1660 Super, is there? And also 10100. I mean, this is not, I wouldn't. I wouldn't sell someone and say, hey, this is going to be a streaming PC if it's 700 bucks. That's 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 hard. That's hard because you obviously have to make sacrifices for that. As a budget gaming PC, that's a great price. Now, what other ones do we have here with labels? Budget Pro Gamer, 10100F, RX 4060. What are y'all, Apple? Why does he have Pro in there? Just call it Budget Gamer. It's like gaming see play most games 1080p without issue, tested these specs, even on the new COD Vanguard at 1080p, all those settings, we got 60 FPS average. Okay. Okay, we have Upgrade Path Pro because it doesn't have a GPU in it. It has a Ryzen 5600G APU. So, all right. I mean, it's a dead platform, though the 5600X 3D is a thing now if you live near a micro center. Budget Office Gamer. Is this an Optiplex case? 350 bucks. Fourth gen i5 and an RX 6400 for 350 bucks. Okay, yeah. Mineral oil PC, 11500 fish tank PC in store only, 275. I want that just to have it. You put two people in a room, they're gonna disagree about something. They'll find something. This is how we grow and how we, how we learn. Like. I'm never going to agree with everything anyone does. But, and, and, and my thing is like, okay, if I, I just try to narrow it down to like, okay, boiling it down. I don't like the way you guys label stuff here at Toasty Bros. I don't like a couple of the choices. Zach is doing with like a little motherboard choice here, maybe storage choice there. Doesn't mean that I don't recommend them at all. No, that was, yeah, I'm not a big fan of Gamer Tech Toronto and their pricing, their pricing is way up there. If you guys like the content that they're doing, you want a PC built by them, you want a PC from them. And some of the stuff I said doesn't matter to you because you're not hung up on like, you know, oh, they labeled it streamer PC, who cares? It's a good price for a good PC. And I'm not disputing that. It's just, I don't, if I think something has even the slightest chance of being misleading to one consume, consumer in a million, I see that as a problem. So honestly, I if you, I can't wait to meet you guys over there, and we'll talk about it. Maybe we'll do a, we'll do a sit and chat kind of thing, video. That'd be kind of cool, so you guys can like roast me for my choices and my system in a greater website. But I don't have one. This is why I don't do that. I'm not putting myself out there like that. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more content coming up leading up to LTX, which I can't wait to go to. And, uh, but I, if, you, if this video turned out really long and you watched the whole thing, I appreciate you. I see you. Thank you for doing that. If you're not already subscribed, get subscribed. Hit that bell. And uh, more to come. All right? Until then. Take care.